Dr. Rao, what are the main treatment options for chronic constipation? So there are several treatment options for patients with chronic constipation. So natural over-the-counter medications, we have fiber supplements, we have osmotic laxatives as we call them, such as Senna is a stimulant laxative, magnesium compounds is another comp easily available, and then you have more, more aggressive stimulant compounds such as bisacodyl, uh, which are all available for patients to take. Sometimes patients take stool softeners, which can also help in mild constipation uh, problems. Uh, but there are several prescription options also available. One is polyethylene glycol, which is dissolved. It's a powder that you dissolve in eight ounces of water and you can drink, and that has been FDA approved as treatment for constipation. We have even more specific FDA approved medications, such as lubiprostone, which is a chloride channel activating agent. So lubiprostone induces fluid secretion in the small bowel, and this in turn uh, leads to a large amount of fluid in the colon, and it kind of acts as a laxative and improves bowel function. Uh, linaclotide is another drug that is another secretagogue, increases secretion of fluid in the gut, and leads to improvement in chronic constipation. Placanetide is another of these guanylate cyclic C agonist drug that increases fluid and improves constipation. These are all drugs that the FDA approved, and the FDA uses a, a term called chronic idiopathic constipation because the clinical studies have been done in, in patients with these kind of symptoms of constipation without necessarily an underlying clear-cut known cause. And that is why the FDA calls it chronic idiopathic constipation. But as I mentioned, most of the time with diagnostic tests, we can identify a cause. So irrespective of how it is termed, generally we're using these drugs to manage symptoms of chronic constipation. Now, there are certain newer compounds. Procalopride is a new compound that's been FDA approved now for less than six months. So this works in increasing peristalsis or contractions in the gut. So it is designed to work in the gut, improves generalized gut motility, and thereby it improves constipation symptoms. So these are generally the more common FDA approved treatment options that are available for most patients in addition to over-the-counter preparation. So through a combination of these agents, we can get most patients better. Rarely there are some uh, non-approved medications that we use in patients with more refractory constipation. There are drugs that certain specialists will use to stimulate the colon more using other kinds of stimulant drugs that have effects on colon muscles and nerves in improving function. And there are some uh, new research options that are coming up. Uh, one example that I can give is called a vibrant capsule, where a capsule vibrates uh, after you ingest. And this has, there are some early clinical trials published on this, showing that this can have a benefit in improving constipation symptoms, but that's still under research. And likewise, there are other compounds that are being developed. Colon-targeted, drugs that act only in the gut to improve colon, muscle, and nerve.